Hey there, it's uh, Sunday evening, a little bit after six, and it's it's felt like it's very been a very long day, and um, no food or no cooking in this video. Although I did a bunch of cooking on the uh, Weber Smoky Mountain today, I I redid the Wumpus's uh, baked beans recipe, and you can see that in one of my previous videos. So I just didn't feel a need to redo that same recipe. And then I threw on um, about a two and a half pound pork loin and smoked that right next to the uh, Dutch oven with the baked beans. And that was on for oh about five hours. Uh, again at low and slow and tasted great. It, nothing special for a rub. I used um, one of the McCormick rubs that I like. So it was nothing real special, but it was delicious. Anyways, there's a few other things that I just wanted to comment on, and I'm going to put to, put a few different videos together. Um, around noon today, maybe it was 11 o'clock this morning, I don't remember exactly what time, I w um, looked out the dining room window. Well, let's see, the dining room window. That's that big picture window there, right? So I'm looking out the dining room window and I'm looking back over this way and there's a huge old bird out there. Well, wild turkeys. Um, wild turkey walking around but on the border between my lot and the a lot of the people behind me. and I managed to get the camera out and um, got a pic couple of pictures of him. So you'll see that in just a second. And that was uh, about the time I was uh, just getting ready to put the baked beans on. Then um, this afternoon we finished up uh, working on the vegetable garden out in the front of the house. And there's a little bit of video of that, of uh, the rest of the family doing the, the final uh, steps of putting that garden together for us. Uh, that's the garden that we've had for, it's been there, but it's been mostly weeds. And so this year we decided um, it's time to really clean it up. So we did an awful lot of digging and pulling of weeds and planting new, new plants and stuff like that. And you'll see that in a minute too. So I just thought I'd uh, put those things out here for you all to see. And um, I hope you enjoy them. Thanks. There he goes. Well. So now he's in the neighbor's yard, but, um, or she, I think it's a she, but I'm not sure. Suffice to say, it doesn't like uh, me around here. So. Here's our little front garden that uh, we started digging up last weekend, which would be Memorial Day weekend. We got the front half, or the back half of it planted. We finished the digging today. And as you can see, our official flower planter is planting flowers. Hmm? You're the official flower planter. <laughs> so. Anyways, that's going to be the front flower garden. We'll um, put some mulch on it after 
everything's been planted. There's a lot of um, leftovers from our daffodils which were out here. But it was basically daffodils and weeds and we've gotten rid of the weeds and tried to put the daffodils back. So that's it. That's the front garden. And here's just uh, one more little thing that um, I've never been really good at vegetable gardens in a garden garden. But like last year, I'm going to do it in a container garden. So um, here's the start of it. It's not a huge garden. I'll have uh, 10 containers. Um, they're basically plastic buckets that I got at Walmart. But I've got three different kinds of tomatoes. Um, well, why don't we zoom in on those and you can see. So, in the upper area, you can see a couple of tomatoes there, three of them. And there's a green pepper plant. And um, that's supposed to be a a bushy cucumber plant. So we'll see if that works. We've got two buckets. Well, this is um, mint. Now, we don't want to put it in the regular garden because the thing grows like a weed and it'll take over any, any garden that it shares ground with. But in a, in a bucket, we think it's pretty safe. And I got an empty bucket. That's going to probably get an eggplant. A couple of uh, bush beans, yellow beans. There's the couple of eggplants and um, a few other little things. And then my wife wanted to plant uh, popcorn. So there's uh, three small popcorn plants. And um, I guess occasionally as um, as I do other videos throughout the summer, if I uh, show you some grilling and things you'll probably see the garden getting a little bit larger throughout the, the season.